But I'm also like, don't come out your mouth about anybody. That's what happens. Like when you say things about people that are not desirable or. Yeah, but that still doesn't justify violence, right? If I say I something mean, and it makes you it'd mad. It'd be one thing if he pulled a gun. Like he got smacked with like four fingers. On yeah, but what if that was a girl that made that joke and Will Smith slapped her? That would be I a mean, problem. she. I agree. That he shouldn't be, be hitting anybody. But when you open your mouth to talk about people, you're creating a space for them to react to what you said. The thing is, is we are people and we're always learning. Yeah. And to expect that somebody's going to be perfect 100% of the time is is ridiculous. That reminds me of the Will Smith slap. Yeah. Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. When I first saw that, I was like, fuck Will Smith. That guy's a piece of shit. That was a bitch move. We should, like, you can't just go slap somebody because you got offended and all. And I was kind of just shitting on him in my head. I wasn't really talking to anybody about it. But in my head, I was shitting on him. And I really liked him. I thought he was a great actor. I thought, you know, he's an extremely motivational guy. I watch a lot of his videos that are out online in regards to his motivational talks and stuff. And I, it just flipped. And yeah. I was like, fuck this guy. You can't do that. That is, you can't do that. That's. And then as I kind of progressed, I started thinking about it. And I was like, yes, it's definitely not okay. He shouldn't have done that. That was not, that's not justifiable. And that was a man in a moment of weakness who I think is severely struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I but, do think it reflects that he's not okay. But <laughs> I don't think I can hold that over him for the rest of his life because he fucked up. Yeah. And I fucked up a lot in my life. And I... You know, if somebody looked at who I was or the things that I've done, they might have conceptions about me. Yeah. And I'm sure everybody could say that. And yet we all want that forgiveness and the acceptance of, okay, I'm a different person today than I was yesterday. And I'm yeah. trying to be a better person tomorrow. Yeah. And I think that I started extending that to him when I realized, okay, we all make mistakes. It was fucked up. Shouldn't have happened, but he fucked up. Yeah. And... Now, if he goes out and does it again, then you could say, oh, okay, this is now, yeah. that's... See, I think both of them fucked up. Like, Will, you absolutely reacted before you thought. But also, like, Chris Rock, <laughs> stop shitting on people for things they can't control. Like, make better But he's better a comedian. Jokes. To be fair, yeah, it wasn't <laughs> the best joke. It wasn't the best joke. I mean, it's. I just feel like as a comedian, your job is to make jokes about, like, you know, things we all experience. But to be like... Ha ha ha, you're bald because you have a disease. I just think that's like borderline not that funny. That's like being like, ha ha, you're fat or ha ha, like your hair is purple or something. And and I mean, I don't know. It'd be one thing if like she was dressed also like she was in Mad Max or something. I don't know. G.I. Jane. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. But Mad Max also. Works, head. works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlize Theron. Um, but I just feel like it could have been better executed. and It definitely could have been a better joke. And it then, wasn't great. And then it was also just like, I don't know. There was just a number of things where I'm like, both y'all out of pocket. Like, Will Smith, sit down. You cannot just smack people. It'd be one thing, too, if they were, like, close to each other and he kind of, like, reacted or something. But he, like, got up out of his seat and, like, walked up to go and chris rock was not expecting and he's like what? he just stood there and but i'm also like don't come out your mouth about anybody that's what happens like when you say things about people that are not desirable or yeah but that still doesn't justify violence right if i say I something mean, and it makes it'd you be mad one thing if he pulled a gun like he got smacked with like four fingers on yeah but what if that was a girl that made that joke and Will Smith slapped her. That would be I a mean, problem. she I agree that he shouldn't be, be hitting anybody, but when you open your mouth to talk about people, you're creating a space for them to react to what you said. Oh, and I, I agree. think that's fair. I agree with that 100%. And I'm just saying that I'm not saying either of them are right or wrong. I'm just saying that both of them did a thing that could could be a reaction because Chris Rock could have hit Will Smith back. Also, like you know what I mean. Like they all, they both reacted. They could have reacted. Excuse me. Will Smith did react, and I think he reacted poorly. But I'm also like, if that was a stranger on the street who was like, "Yo, your face sucks," you have the potential to get hit. Like for saying that. Like 
maybe it's w- different because they're where they were or like who they are but well i think it's a, even if it was a guy just walking down the street you just always have the problem. potential yeah but that like, doesn't that's not a justification right the well, potential i didn't say it justified it i'm just saying that when you do something towards someone anything can happen in response yeah that's that's what a lot of people say around free speech, right? You have the freedom to say whatever you want to say, but you also better be prepared Someone to deal with the repercussions Someone could come and just kick you. like. <laughs> Which I don't, in no way. Which I don't think it's right. And that's why, like, so say I was, like, talking trash on somebody on the street corner or whatever. <laughs> Someone comes and beats me up. And I'm like, damn, yo, you beat me up because I was being cruel to you. I'm upset about it. Now I'm going to press charges against you. Like, yeah. you know what I, I mean? I think Will Smith, I think Chris Rock should have done something against Will Smith. Press some charges because you can't set that precedent that this is okay. Yeah. I also think we have no idea what kind of relationship they have with each other. So I'm like, this. I can't imagine it's good after that. Well, no, I just mean in general, like, this could have been something boiling between them for a while. So, like, Chris knew he was, like, extra pushing the button when but he that was it. such a tame joke i mean he could have said some some wild stuff about her in august or any number of things and he went with the gi jane i mean how long have guys been clowned for being bald like i thought that was just a light light thing yeah i mean and to slap on live tv <laughs> like that good. is it what <laughs> that is so crazy for all them all of these people that I'm, is so crazy I'm I also know. like Will Smith's in a whole pl- place. I don't know. He's like in the fifth dimension. In terms of just where he is in life. Yeah, like I think. Yeah, he's definitely not on. Like we're on a different level yeah, than Will I'm Smith. Yeah, I'm like I don't know what he's doing. He's on this path of like revelation and finding himself. I think he needs to cut out Jada to find himself. I think I think there's some <gasps> toxicity going oh, on man. there. The table. Do you watch those? Uh, sometimes. I have not. Well, I've heard that some of them are pretty good, but I. I mean, I think it's it's great and it's transformational just because they're having these intergenerational conversations that like most people are not having surrounding mental health or like mental health awareness, and I think that's good. But I have not seen them all. I've just seen some, and like I see clips on social media and stuff. I think their relationship is a is a prime example of her that one and the one with johnny depp and amber heard Mm -hmm. i think those are prime examples of what can happen if you're not with the right person and you guys are just kind of toxic for each other Uh, it does not play out well i mean i don't know i guess it depends i mean i feel like those are very different situations because oftentimes we forget that will smith and jada were not together when she had a relationship with whatever his name was august her entanglement is that yeah, what she that's what she <laughs> called entanglement. it that's like girl you know you talked to when you said entanglement um but you know i think we forget a lot of details of like you know i think they are an example of people trying to figure it out but like in a somewhat healthy manner and is then, it healthy like, though i think th- i don't think it's all jada's fault i think will has probably been toxic too i mean he was a huge movie star i can't imagine that yeah the home life was was stellar you could just you could be a great person and you could be with somebody and your pairing is just toxic it's not necessarily one person or the other it's it's your two personalities coming together that just does not click just doesn't fit right i feel that i think that's a problem a lot of people fall into yeah it can be hard to even know what's really ever happening with anyone that lives in the public light as well. 